Okay, we're gonna do a I did long run today, and I'm gonna do hip openers. And this is not so much a stretch. You guys are welcome to do any kind of stretching that's comfortable and any kind of rolling that's comfortable. I just don't know tons about that and don't do it myself. But that's one of those spots where bodies can vary. This though, this is a tool for learning how to spot problem areas in your hips. Because again, hip imbalances are the beginning of all bad and evil things. This is the source of all evil. It's also the source of all the power. Cool, it's probably philosophy in there. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Get a stool, get behind it, take your foot and put it over. Take your foot and put it back over. Then take the other side. Don't do a bunch in a row and come up and over and come up and over. All right, so that's the motion. So why the stool? Why don't I just stand over here? Here's why. This, this here is to make me notice, did I come over this way like that and then this way? Hmm, that leg didn't go as high. That's a problem. So now I have to pay attention to why. Why does this foot clear just perfectly and this, oh, okay. Now I'm getting even. And then the other directions, okay, that's how that feels. And then that's how that feels. Okay, and then the next thing is, you know, I come over and I go, okay, that went over. And that went over. And then this goes over. And I'm leaning back. I'm leaning back. Why am I leaning back on one side? Like, feel that. Are you leaning back? Are you, are you coming forward a little bit? Like Karate Kid style? Can I stay upright on both sides? Can I pay attention? Am I doing it because I'm weighting my foot differently? You can feel when you're standing on one foot. Is your weight back here or up here? Or over here? Or more on this side? So actually try to feel, you know, you go slow and feel, where's my weight? Notice I'm going slow enough that I can feel. Oh, that, there's that little wobble. I get that when I'm tired. So pay attention. Am I staying upright with balanced over this leg? Yeah, okay. Okay, there, there it is. Mostly I still get that little lean. There's a little bit of that. But there's less on the other side. I like, oh, okay. If I lift my hip up, I lean. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this and keep my hip level. Okay, I, I was tilting. Okay, so now, now I'm not tilting. Now I can feel that I'm staying more upright. My balance gets more centered. So all of these things, slowly, intentionally pay attention to what your body does and look for differences and then try to correct them by going back and forth. So okay if it feels awkward and is imperfect, but do, do that. And do this when you've done long run because when everything is tired, I can't compensate as well. Whatever little weak thing I have that tends to throw me off on the one side, I'm not going to be able to compensate for it. It's going to show up because my legs are tired. And it's going to help me to actually, am I rotating my hip further on this side? You know, because maybe on one side I'm going like that. See, my hip is still right here. And on the other side I'm going like that. My hip is open. Why is one hip open up and the other one, you know, look at your angles there. See if you're actually the same, if you're rotating the same, if it feels the same, if you feel something back in here differently. Pay attention to all of these things. You don't have to be perfect at it, but this is a real good exercise for catching imbalances in yourself. Okay? So try it out. Good luck. Hope it goes well.